My people, wonder shall never end. <laughs> what goes around comes around. My people, information reaching us right now allegedly is that Ashley is in tears as she was accused of bringing in the strange deity inside the palace as artifact. I don't know if you have been watching this uh, episode because it's, it's not an episode. <laughs> Anyways, I don't know if you have been following the trend, but for days now, they said there is this strange artifact that is in the palace uh, that have been crawling and crying and making some strange noise, terrifying people in that palace. And uh, if I priest them, they have consulted their, they have made some inquiries, consulted a lot of people. And yet, up until now, no one uh, agrees that he knows where that date a be artifact in form of. Or they say, they, some say there's a date in form of artifact where it comes from. You know, why a lot of people uh, are accused Ashley is this? They said Ashley was the person who bought so many artifacts while coming back for this uh, Olokun festival. You know that these are the kind of things that she loves so much. She talks so much about it and all of that. But it was, it was un unfortunate for her that they said the king did not even recognize, recognize her. She was expecting the king to appreciate her for getting those artifacts to make the local festival colorful and all of that. But the king ignored her due to the fact that he is angry with all of them. Shortly after that local festival, this strange one started manifesting itself right there in the palace. And they said the thing is so terrifying. After the Fapris them have uh, do, uh, consulted whatever it is that they, con they, did, they did a lot of inquiries, they said that that, day, that uh, artifact is a deity. You know? Because one thing about all of this artifact is this. There are some of them that when you buy it, you might think that uh, it is just uh, a sculpture or a kind of model because that's what they look like. But some of them, they have powers that they possess, but you may not know. Unless you are spirit uh, spiritually alert, you may not know the kind of one you buy or you brought home. Because some people might just say, okay, let me buy it to decorate my house. Uh, you know, so most of the times people also buy it to keep it in their museum or maybe in their art room or other for other reasons and all of that, or maybe to teach people. But they said most of them you might buy it and end up taking the spirit home. You know, I don't know if that is the case here because they said Ashley bought some of them. But they, don't, they did not tell us if this one is one of those ones that she buy or this one transformed itself. But from their investigation, they find out that that artifact, I mean, that date, whatever it is, is crying and wants to return back to wherever it is coming from. And for the fact that they don't know how to go about it, they don't know how to appease it, they don't know how to relate to it, they don't know how to communicate with it because is indeed a strange god compared with their own gods. They said it has been a very big problem. And they were all blaming Ashley. But the fact remains that they said when Ashley herself got there, that Ashley was terrified on seeing that. That she was like, what, what the hell? What is this? Because to her, this is not what she is not one of those ones she bought according to her. And according to her, she said that that thing is terrifying. That there is no how she would have uh, carried that thing from UK or from wherever she bought them. Because some say she traveled to Brazil to go and get some of them. There is no how she would carry it and come back with it. It is very terrifying, according to her. Could it be that she entered the palace or it entered the palace as a normal artifact and changed to the date that it is? I don't know. I don't know. But they say people are worried. And they accused Ashley and they said Ashley had been crying.
that why would they accuse her of what she doesn't know? At some point, they said uh, uh, they also invite her family self. But getting if it, if, if it has gotten to the level of uh, inviting her family, that means there is a proof against her that, that she bought uh, artifact is not enough excuse. Some said she just bought it to uh, put the palace in a state of uh, fear, denim and all of that. But I don't think, I don't know, I don't just know, but all I know is that Ashley is mommy, is it what I call her mommy water? She likes to express how much she loves all these things and uh, maybe she might end up buying the wrong one, I don't know. Maybe maybe her intention wouldn't, have, wouldn't be for her to cause any harm or anything. I don't know. You know, you can't trust them. You can't trust them. Especially when they are not happy with the king. Because it's obvious that they are not, they are not happy with the king. Some time ago, we heard that a uh, wrong girl was seen. Discussing with the king's enemies on how to pull him down and all of that. So anything is possible. Anything is possible with these women. You cannot just say they are pure, they are this, they are that. No, with the kind of alleged information we have been hearing about them recently. Mm, you can say that maybe it's possible that she did it, it's possible that she did not do it. I want to remind you that these are all alleged information, okay? Always bear that in mind. I do not live in the palace, I am just a blogger. As I see, I'm not so I carry I'm con given and we gather them for all social media platforms and other places. Always bear that in mind, okay? Then, if you have not subscribed to my channel, go ahead, subscribe, give this video a thumbs up and share my video i want to ask you this question do you think it's ashley that brought this thing in maybe just to cause havoc to the king since uh they are not making her happy because recently you have been having hearing that she's in tears she's this she's that or do you think it's another person because from what they said one of the fabrics that came said they said the fabrics said that these people have buried this thing somewhere and it's escaped from that place and start crawling inside the palace. And the, the reason for its cry is for them to return it to wherever they brought it from. Could it be that one of the wives brought in that deity for one for another purpose and it is now serving another purpose? Or is any of these uh, elders who... I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. But all I ask is a question. Who do you think that did it? Because the thing cannot just disappear from wherever it is and enter the palace. Unless the ghosts, the ghosts can do anything. They can come in any form, especially in a form that you are not familiar with. So that they will be able to scare the living day life out of you. If you, if you don't have a living God. <laughs> anyway guys, whatever you think about it, share with us on the comment section. And like I told you, these are all alleged information. Bye for now. Love you guys.